Glomerular filtration, GFR, and factors affecting it. GFR is determined by the Starling's forces. Every fluid has two forces, a push or the hydrostatic force. This force pushes the fluid out of the compartment and a pull or the colloid osmotic force which pulls the fluid back into its compartment. Glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure or PGC. The push force in the glomerular capillary is the glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure. It is the main factor that determines GFR. The hydrostatic pressure of the glomerular capillaries promotes filtration. GFR is directly proportional to PGC. Increase in blood flow into the glomerular capillaries increases PGC. This increases GFR. Normal value is 45 millimeters of mercury. Glomerular capillary colloid osmotic pressure or pi GC. The pull force in the glomerular capillaries is the colloid osmotic pressure or the oncotic pressure. Varies with the concentration of plasma proteins high in hyperalbuminemia, low in hypoalbuminemia. Pi GC increases along the length of the glomerular capillaries because filtration of water increases the protein concentration. Increase in pi GC decreases GFR. Normal value at the afferent arteriole is 20 mm of mercury. Bauman's capsule hydrostatic pressure or PBC. The push force in the Bauman's capsule is the Bauman's capsule hydrostatic pressure. PBC is a force that opposes filtration. Normally it is low and fairly constant, doesn't affect filtration. PBC is increased by constriction of the ureters or ureteral stone. Increase in PBC decreases GFR. Normal value is 10 mm of mercury. Bauman's capsule colloid osmotic pressure or pi BC. The pull force in the Bauman's capsule is the colloid osmotic pressure in the Bauman's capsule. Pi BC is a force that favors filtration. Pi BC is usually zero because only a very negligible amount of protein is normally filtered. Normal value is zero. Therefore, the forces favoring filtration are Glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure, PGC, Bauman's capsule colloid osmotic pressure, pi BC. This is usually zero because normally no proteins are present in the Bauman's capsule. And the forces opposing filtration are Glomerular capillary colloid osmotic pressure, pi GC, Bauman's capsule hydrostatic pressure, PBC. The net filtration pressure is Net filtration pressure equals PGC minus pi GC minus PBC. GFR is directly proportional to net filtration pressure. GFR equals KF, PGC minus pi GC minus PBC. KF is the ultrafiltration constant. It is the product of permeability and surface area. The net filtration pressure is 15 mm of mercury at the afferent end of the glomerular capillaries, but it falls to zero. That is, filtration equilibrium is reached, proximal to the afferent end of the glomerular capillaries. This is because fluid leaves the plasma and this causes an increase in the glomerular capillary colloid osmotic pressure as the blood passes through the glomerular capillaries. Effect of Afferent Arterial Dilatation if there is an afferent arteriole dilatation, there is an increase in rate of blood flow into the glomerular capillaries. This increases the glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure and therefore the GFR. The total nephron plasma flow will also show an increase. If there is an increase in RPF, there will be a decrease in the rate of rise of the delta curve. This in turn will increase the distance along the capillary in which filtration is taking place and therefore increase filtration. Effect of Afferent Arteriole Constriction on GFR Constriction of the afferent arteriole will decrease the flow into the capillaries and therefore the glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure and the GFR. The nephron plasma flow will also show a decrease. Effect of Efferent Arteriole Dilatation The efferent arteriole diameter is normally less than the diameter of the afferent arteriole. This difference in the diameter of the two vessels increases the hydrostatic pressure in the glomerular capillaries. A dilatation of the efferent arteriole will therefore decrease the pressure in the capillaries and therefore the GFR. Constriction of the efferent arteriole Constriction of the efferent arteriole will further increase the glomerular capillary hydrostatic pressure and increase the GFR. 
The nephron plasma flow will, however, decrease.